For those of you who don't know, or I guess just weren't aware, the 80s weren't the best time for a kid to grow up in America. Back then, there was the so-called satanic panic going on. Kids were going missing left and right, and everyone was convinced that the cults were to blame. This blame-it-on-the-Satanist attitude was especially apparent where I grew up, in South Carolina. Around here, blaming non-Christians for problems was as much a part of the culture as guns, sweet tea, and going to church on Sunday. I grew up in a small town, but the state proved to grow cloudier and cloudier around me as time went on. Things began to go downhill for me when I was about 12 years old. I grew up in a little one-story house with my parents and my eight-year-old brother, Danny. It's safe to say that Danny could be pretty annoying at times. In fact, looking back on it, I'd say he was more on my nerves than he was off them. Still, I love the kid deep down. Once in a while, he and I got along, and the moments that we did see eye to eye, well, they were truly memorable. Our times together ceased on April 13th, 1984. That day seems like a dream to me now. A distant memory. Danny and I had just gotten home from school. Our father was still at work and my mother was gone as well. She had left a note saying that she went to her friends and she reminded me to run to the supermarket to pick up eggs so she can make my cake. The following day was my birthday, and I had honestly almost forgotten. Well, I told Danny to stay put while I ran to the store, but the little bugger informed me that he was coming along. Of course I argued with him. I did not need him coming with me to the store. He'd been annoying me the entire walk home from school. As I argued with him, I knew in the back of my mind that I had to take him. I mean, come on, the kid was eight years old. I couldn't leave him alone. My parents would kill me. I finally gave in, told him to shut his mouth and to keep it shut, <laughs> and we set out the door. Of course, the little annoyance bugged me the entire way. By the time we got to the supermarket, I was about to clobber him. All I did, however, was pull him to the side and scold him for about a minute. Looking back on it now, I... I wish I hadn't. I wish I had just, just embraced his annoyance. Well, I turned away from the brat and made a beeline for the store towards the poultry aisle. Always having trouble finding things in the supermarket, I was overjoyed I was able to find the eggs so quickly. I found the aisle, opened the cold fridge door, and grabbed the eggs. All that was left to do was check out and find Danny. I couldn't believe it. I hadn't even kept track of my little brother after I scolded him. I frantically searched the store, and after not being able to find him for several minutes, I began to ask customers if they had seen a short blonde-headed boy. No one had a clue what I was talking about. I even resorted to getting customer service to call for him, but my little brother didn't come. The worst part was going home and telling my parents. I felt terrible. The next day was the worst birthday ever. As you can imagine, I still hate my birthdays for this reason. For weeks, the police searched for him. My parents frantically combed the entire town, always stopping to post missing person signs all over the place. I couldn't even think of what could have happened to him. I was scolded by my parents every night for it. My dad quickly slipped into depression taking to alcohol as a means of escape. After a month, the search was called off. No one had any idea where Danny was. He had disappeared, without a trace. A couple of weeks after the search was called off, the police called in my parents, showing them a photograph they had found in the parking lot of an abandoned warehouse. The case remains open to this day. Hey, Midnight Sweeper here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
why not hit the like button and give it a share on Facebook or Twitter? Or better yet, hit that big red subscribe button and keep coming back for more. And I'll see you around the campfire. My dad quickly slipped into the. My dad quickly slipped into depre. My my dad quickly slipped into depression.